Hi, hello, good morning. It is an honor to introduce myself to you. I am Ramana. You are watching Diksha Medical Channel. In the last lecture, we talk about introductory part of the connective tissue. That means how the connective tissue is formed. What are the embryonic layer responsible for the formation of connective tissue? And we introduce what are the connective tissue components. Generally, connective tissue components are mostly fibers and cells and ground substance. So, in the last lecture, we talk about what are the fibers are present, what are the cells are present and how the ground substance is present. But in the today's lecture, we are talking about, we are going to in depth to understand what are the fibers are present in the connective tissue and what are the cells are present in the connective tissue and how the ground substance is present in the connective tissue. If you see the picture, you can understand it is a connective tissue, it is a model diagram to understand, right? So generally, if you take it, connective tissue is abundant tissue in our body. At the same time, it is made up of different type of cells. These all cells are originated from the embryonic mesoderm. The cells which form the fibers are other cells. Those all cells we call as a blast. Blast in the sense, it is a sprout or budding. That means whenever you use the blast, it is an immature cell, but actively bud the new cells, right? So, for example, if you take the, some of the example, you can understand easily. The cells which form the fibers are called fibroblast. The cells which form the bone is called osteoblast. The cells which form the cartilage is called chondroblast. Like that, whenever you use the blast at the end of the cell, then we can say, it is a osteoblast, reticuloblast, or fibroblast. This all indicates that that are the active cells which form the cells. Right here also, the fibers are the a connective tissue components, which are made up of all are made up of proteins. These fibers also originated from the embryonic mesoderm cells are called fibroblast. So, fibroblast are the and active cells which are immature cells these cells are originated from the mesoderm which form the fibers so in the connective tissue there are three types of fibers one is reticular fiber one is a collagen fibers and third one is the elastin fibers so if you go for the one by one then you can understand see in the picture we have given only numbers there is no space for the writing so that this number follow the a particular tissue Right. So first one is reticular fibers. Reticular fibers, if you see in the top of the tissue, the number one indicates the reticular fibers. Reticular fibers are made up of a protein is called collagen. Right. These are a thin and form a network. Right. The meaning of reticle. Reticle means is nothing but network. So if the fiber arranged as a network like structure, such type of fibers are reticular fibers. What is the use of these fibers in the connective tissue or in our body? It uses to provide the strength and support to certain tissues or organs in our body. What are the tissues are there which you which provide the strength to the particular tissue? That is maybe bone marrow, maybe lymphoid organs such as lymph nodes and spleen. And second type of fibers are called collagen fibers. These collagen fibers are made up of first type of collagen protein. It is a very strong and rigid. These are arranged as a bundles, right? Whenever the if fibers are formed as a bundle form, which gives us strongness to the tissues, right? So what is the characteristic of these collagen fibers? These are most abundant protein in our body. 25% of proteins in our body is a collagen proteins. So they occur in the bundular form and they are strong and stretch resistant. What is meant by strong? Strong in the sense these are present in the form of a bundle which gives a strength into the tissues. At the same time, which is a stretch resistant? Stretch resistance in the sense is opposite to the elasticity. It cannot be expand. It cannot be expand. It cannot be come to the normal state. That means always it should be in the bundular form, right? These are mostly found in bone, cartilage and tendons and ligaments also.
right bone cartilage tendons and ligaments these also part of connective tissue which is made up of or which contain type of fibers are called collagen fibers and third type of fibers are called elastin fibers elastin represents the presence of yellow colored protein these are yellow colored fibers these are made up of a special type of protein is called elastin that's why the name is given as elastin fibers it is surrounded by a glycoprotein named fibrillin and these also may be formed in the form of a uh, branched form it is you know these are branched but collagen fibers are unbranched they form as a bundular form and these also look like a network but is long thin these are if you see in the diagram you can understand very close to the collagen fibers collagen fibers and uh, elastic fibers also we have uh, seen in the diagram the collagen fibers represents the uh, number two the elastic uh, uh, fibers represents the number three right so what is the characteristic of these elastic fibers they are branched and uh, form a network these also if you compare with the collagen fibers collagen fibers are not branched it is unbranched fibers these are branched fibers and they have a property called elasticity elasticity in the sense the property of expand and come to recoil in their normal position right so it is mostly found in the skin skin in the dermis part is that this is actually epidermis in the dermis part most of the fibers are elastic fibers which can be uh, what is that it can be expand and recoil at the same time the wall of the blood vessels when the blood is flowing from the place to place with high pressure the blood flows how they can be resisted towards the pressure right they can be expand and it come to the normal position and lungs tissues also the wall of the lungs right lungs tissues or spongy tissue mostly this type of fibers are present they can be expand and come to the normal right so in this class we talk about only different type of fibers we have seen right in the next two uh, video our next lecture we will see that what are the cells are present in the connective tissue thank you